Welcome to Keynote's Magic Move. Magic Move is a function built into Keynote that shows you the kind of thing you're seeing on the screen in front of you. It's simple to use and it's included with Keynote. So in this video, we'll walk through how to set up Magic View using an initial simple model. And then from there, we'll build something a little more complex so you can get comfortable on how to use it. To begin learning about Magic Move, let's open Keynote and kick off one page. Now on this page, let's go ahead and select a shape. Let's choose the rectangle. We'll drag that rectangle over to the left. Now let's take that slide and duplicate it. And on the second slide, let's take that cube and move it over here. Now select the first slide, go over to Animate, Add an effect and Magic Move. Let's preview that. And it tells you that Magic Move animates objects from this slide to their position on the next slide. So these two slides must have at least one object in common, which we do have. And we can make that look like it's moving. So let's go ahead and run it there. That's what it'll look like. Now, if we play this, Magic Move has moved the box from the first slide to the second slide. Now what if we want to move it again? We take the second slide, we duplicate that, and we'll drag that square up here. And let's take the second slide now and add an effect and add a Magic Move to that. So the first slide to the second slide is one move, and the second slide to the third slide is another move. Let's look at the first slide and the controls that go along with it. The duration sets the speed of the move and it eases in and out. When you're moving things, oftentimes you may not want that. So we'll select none. And the transition begins on click. So the slide pops up and you've got to click it to make it move. But instead of that, let's say as soon as the slide loads up, the transition should begin. Now let's take the second slide and take a look at the duration and take the ease in out and make that none. And once again, let's make this automatic. The last slide you usually leave on its on click status because that slide stays up till the presenter wants to exit or move on to the next slide. So let's run this. I'm not clicking anything. This is the slide presentation working by itself. So the extent to which we can move material is controlled largely by how many slides you want to make and cascade in the process. So with that, let's jump over to a slide deck that I built to make the intro video. We'll close this. Delete that. This is that slide deck. We began with a slide up here with a blue circle and a black square. On the next slide, we've moved the square over, changed its color, and we've moved the circle over and changed its color and size. On the third slide, we moved it again and changed sizes again. And then on the fourth slide, we've done the same thing. And then we have a different presentation where we have balls, two balls standing on each end. They move up across, they collide, they bounce off, bounce off the wall, and that ends the session. Now let's go ahead and make these all magic moves. We'll take the first slide through the third slide, because remember it plays one slide beyond the last one, and let's add an effect and pick magic move. Then let's pick the next set and make those magic move. Now you can do this one slide at a time too. Let's go back to the top slide and run it. When we hit play, it needs a click to begin. So note that we need to do some adjustments. The size changed. It needs a click to advance again. A click again. And that's the end of this series. And the circles are bouncing. Now we don't want this to happen on click. We want this to flow seamlessly. So the very first one, first slide, 
As soon as the slide is loaded, we want it to automatically begin running. The second one, again, we want it to automatically run. Third, change the onclick to automatically. The fourth, unclicked automatically. Now you can pause here if you don't want the next set to run automatically, but we'll go ahead and run it continuously. So here we go, automatically. And we can select all of these and make them all automatically. Now on the last slide for each group, we can select this and create a build out and change and make that a crumble. And we can take this object and make that a crumble too. Now what's important here is the play order. So when you look at the build order, we can see circle one, we can see that circle one crumbles after the transition. Circle two is after build one. So one crumbles before the other under this model. We could make them crumble at the same time with build one. We'll stay with after for now. Now let's go back to the top four slides and confirm that they are running automatically. Yes, they are. And on the last slide here, let's select an object and build out, add an effect, and let's have that crumble. And let's take that object and have that crumble. And then let's look at the build order. And we can see the oval crumbles on click. No, we want it to after transition. And the square, we want it to with build one. We want them to crumble at the same time. We could have them crumble one after the other, but we'll do it together. And now that we've got that, let's go back and run the slide presentation. One click to start it. No more clicks. You can see the objects are moving smoothly and sizes are changing. In this case, we've kept the size constant wanted to create the impression of bouncing balls. Now you see a little hesitation there at the end of each move. It stops before it starts up again. Let's go back and take a look at that. If we were to take a look at this one, we see that there's a delay of half a second. So let's select everything through the end and make that delay zero. And let's take everything from here to here and make the delay zero. And then go back and run it again. Now we don't see that delay. It reaches its endpoint, turns around, and comes back. And then it crumbles. Then the balls begin, and they also bounce off without a delay at each contact point. So now you have all the components to use Magic Move. It's amazing, and it can make your presentation so much more interesting. Thanks for watching.